seems like a good one. But also, wasn't the Red Cross one of the people that was helping people map out the way to illegally enter the U.S.? Wasn't that uh, one of the things that the Red Cross was doing? Google that. But that could be also that the Red Cross is a legitimate charitable organization and it realizes that these people are going to do this no matter what and show them the way to do it that's safe. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. I mean, they're going to do it. Showing them the way that's safe to me seems like, you know, like almost an ethical thing to do if you know that this is happening. And then providing them aid along the way so they don't die. That seems like, you know, the whole immigration thing is very complicated. You know, you came from immigrants. I came from immigrants or my grandparents were immigrants. But it's just the way they're doing it where anybody can get through is so wild. So the Red Cross has provided maps to migrants uh, traveling towards the U.S. border. Now, what is their reasoning? Is the Red Cross giving maps to migrants? The map on the social media is real. Different versions have existed since at least 2018, and some have been distributed by the International Committee of the Red Cross. The ICRC is a consortium of Red Cross agencies, including the American Red Cross. The map is a part of an informational safety pamphlet provided by aid organizations, including the National Red Cross Societies to Migrants Traveling to Central America. The pamphlet also includes resource information like where to find food, shelter, and medical assistance. While the map has been around since at least 2018, American Red Cross partnered with the Mexican Red Cross and others during the COVID-19 pandemic to, pro to promote these safety materials. The Red Cross logos appeared across the top of the map. The American Red Cross logo was removed in 2022 after the COVID-19 partnership expired. The current pamphlet containing the map shows the current partners are the National Red Cross Societies of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador does not seek to encourage or discourage migration, but rather to contribute to migrating the vulnerability, mitigating the vulnerability factors of this population during the migratory route. I can so live with that, Joe. I can live with that, I can too. live with that. That's fair. Yeah, that's not encouraging people to do it. That's saying they're doing it. Let's, let's make it so at least they have, like, a safe way to do it. Listen, man, this migrant situation has turned everything around. From New York City, Chicago, L.A., they're yeah. everywhere, you know. And yeah, tax money, and New York's giving you ten thousand dollars now, an ATM card, right? They give you ten thousand dollars for your mic. Something along those lines, yeah. You know, and I don't know. Um, There's a lot to say. Like, you know, look at the, our fucking vets, how they get treated. Look, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna send you this, Jamie. See what's going on in Paris. They uh, they started. They were trying to kick these dudes out uh, of the country, and they started a riot at the airport. <laughs> Who are they trying to kick out? Uh, illegal immigrants. I'll show you. Jamie, I just sent it to you. Yeah. And they're like, no, we're not going. They're like, you have to go. There's too many of you. I'm like, no, fuck you. We're not flying. And they started a riot at the airport. They were trying to deport them. And they're like, uh-uh. We're here. <laughs> Listen, all I remember is one thing, Joe. And I use this, and I'm not saying nothing bad about anybody. I was Look at this. Give me the volume. Is a full on Donnie Brook at the airport. They're beating up attendants. Security guys are getting fucked up. <laughs> Just wild shit, man. So they got them over there too? They're tra yeah, they have a lot. A lot. A lot of migrants in Europe. Yeah, it's uh, it's basically it happened right after the pandemic in mass. It's just massive amounts of migrants in Europe, massive amounts of migrants here. It's almost like it's on purpose. If it's not on purpose, what a coincidence. But it just it <laughs> seemed like there just wasn't migrants coming in. But what I was telling you before was, I think I told you last time, I saw what the Mario boat lift did to my area, Hudson County. Not in 1979, but I saw it five years later. And then I saw what they were doing in San Francisco. When I got to San Francisco in 85, there was a huge Cuban population. And they San were Francisco. So this <clears throat> is the people that took off. From Mariel in 78, 79. Is this when Fidel kicked them out? Yes. 
He kicked out 160,000 people. We didn't have records on these people. So we didn't really know what they were about. They could right. just tell you I worked in right. construction, you know, and they didn't know. So this is that, but 10 times. Right. That was 100,000 people, 200,000. This is 8 million or something like that. Yeah. Right? That's come through? At least. You're not going to feel this today. You're going to feel this five years from now. Well, they could feel it real soon, depending upon who the people are and why they're here. You know, the, the most uh, troubling version is sleeper cells. The most troubling mm-hmm. version is that there's military cells that exist here. Terrorist well, the cells. Chinese were coming in. Mm-hmm. And now they're growing wheat. Are they? Chinese? <laughs> Jamie, go to the videotape. <laughs> Chinese are buying farms. You had just had somebody on here that was talking about the Chinese are buying farms yes, here. Yes, they're definitely buying farms. What do you think they're doing with those fucking farms? Grazing fucking sushi? No. <laughs> they're fucking...